Welcome guys, today we will be looking into who was Lewis Carroll. Now, Lewis Carroll was just a pen name. His real name was Charles Ludwig Dodgson. He came up with this pen name by translating his first and middle name into Latin, giving him Charles Ludwig, which became Carolus Ludovicius. He then reversed the order, translated them back to English for Lewis Carroll. He was the third child of eleven. He was the first son and was raised in a Christian family. It is said that his favorite childhood game was actually one of his own creation. He constructed a miniature replica of a train out of a wheelbarrow, a barrel, and a small truck. Passengers had to buy tickets, follow a timetable, and each station had refreshments. If a passenger fell off the train, they had to be run over three times before they could ask for a doctor, and those who behaved badly were sent to prison. His education began in 1846 when he entered rugby school and ended when he graduated from Christ Church College in 1854. With a keen aptitude in mathematics and writing, he remained at the college after graduation to teach and stayed there for the rest of his life. His mathematical writings included an elementary treatise on determinants, published in 1867, Euclid and his Modern Bibles, published in 1879, and Curosa Mathematics, published in 1888. While teaching, Carroll was ordained as a deacon, however, he never preached. Despite being a mathematician, Dodgson didn't keep a fine balance of his bank accounts. He wasn't much concerned with money and would often overdraft, sometimes as much as the modern-day equivalent of 7,500 pounds, though he would pay all of this back promptly on his next payday. It is believed that Charles suffered from chronic migraines as well as epilepsy, stammering, partial deafness, and ADHD. This stutter is why many assume he found such joy in having children as friends. Charles was an incredible writer. Upon request, he even dedicated a book for Queen Victoria. This book was the application to simultaneous linear equations and algebraic equations. This was definitely not what she had in mind when she asked, though. Through his life, he wrote 11 books on mathematics, 12 works of literary fiction, and it is said that he could write 20 words a minute, a page of 150 words in seven and a half minutes and 12 pages in two and a half hours. He also loved writing letters, sometimes up to 2,000 a year. According to his friends, he sometimes even wrote them backwards. Like a lot of writers, Dodgson was frustrated by losing the excellent ideas that inconveniently came to him in the middle of the night. So in 1891, he invented the Nictograph. This device is a card with 16 square holes two rows of eight, that offered a guide for the user to enter a shorthand code of dots and dashes. He considered this to also be useful for the blind. Charles Dodgson died in 1898 at the age of 66 from pneumonia. He had never married.